All right, so we ordered a new incubator because our other one is just too basic, <clears throat> having a very low success rate. But here it is right here. We ordered it on Amazon. Obviously, it's from China. <clears throat> in the manual, I mean, there's no name brand. And in the manual, it has fairly good instructions. You can tell that someone is, that is not a real English-speaking person wrote these because some of it is actually pretty funny. But anyway, it comes preset. It's in Celsius. But, you know, I have wrote down right here that 38 degrees Celsius equals 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So that kind of gives me an idea. And it's winter right now. So it comes with this styrofoam that you put around it to help it, uh, you know, stay warmer. And in the summer, I'm sure you can take the styrofoam away. I'll show what it looks like without the styrofoam. It's automatic turning and air circulation without the styrofoam. And you can hear it running. It's got a fan up there that circulates the heater. And that's the egg turner right there. It's going to turn the eggs. And I put water down in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it moving there. And as so that you don't have to open it to put more water, it gives you this bottle and a little hole right there where you can just stick that in there and uh, put more water. It's trying to tell me something. All right, it's telling me that the uh, temperature got a little too low. I guess that's because I opened the top. Anyway, I'm gonna load it up with eggs. In the instructions, it says to put the eggs in with the pointy side down. So we're gonna put the pointy side down. All right, so I got it all loaded up. Got some blue Americana eggs, white leg horn, some black astralorp, a little bit more of uh, Americanas, and then two rows of duck eggs. So I'm gonna set it and see if we're successful. I'll come back and check them in a few days for life. Day number eight, the temperature is right there, around 100, 100.5. Me and a little higher than I like it. But I can't figure out how to get it to lower right away. Anyway, I'm going to get an egg out of there. And we'll put it under some light and see what it looks like. All right, well, here's one of the eggs, a chicken egg. You can see the little chick moving around inside the egg there. Little blood veins. I don't know if you can see them, but... Chick definitely alive in there. It's like about five more days to go. And we'll see how many chicks hatch. Of course, there's going to be chickens. And then a week later, will be the ducks. So it should be tomorrow when the chicks start to hatch. I came in and the humidity level is a little bit low. I lifted the lid because I wanted to see if any of the chicks were peeping out. And lost even more humidity. So we want it to be pretty humid for when they hatch. So like I said, in the back back here, there's a hole. Give you this bottle and squirt some water in. So it can help uh, get the humidity level up so that the membrane and the shell is the correct for them hatching. All right, well, there's the first two. Hatch during the night. Let's see what we got. 
Oh my god, we got chicks everywhere. I'm gonna transfer them to the other incubator to dry out. All right, I think all the eggs, all the chicken eggs that have hatched, have probably hatched. There's, there's still six right there, but it's two days after hatch day, and I don't know if they're gonna hatch. So. Here we have 20 chicks. Nice variety of white and black and got two silver. We're using a um, storage, plastic storage container as a brooder box. But this incubator has worked so great compared to our other one. I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description where we got it. So if you want to check it out, but I am very happy with this. Anyway, we'll come back with more updates when the ducks hatch that are inside. Don't forget to go outside, share it, 